More than 150 burn injured children throughout California are enjoying all the wonders of summer camp right now. Champ Camp is the nation's largest and longest running camp for burn injured children in the country. Champ Camp provides a free, safe and fun summer camp environment for kids facing one of life's toughest and most painful challenges, severe burn injuries. And here to tell us more we have from Champ Camp, Stephanie Boydell, along with burn survivor Erica Corona Mendoza. We are also joined from the Fresno Fire Chiefs Foundation Board President Ryan Ivanov. So great to have you all on today. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for your time. Let's first start off with Champ Camp. What a great name, Steph. <laughs> really great. Can you give us some history and talk about the foundation behind it? Sure, absolutely. So Champ Camp, we are in our 33rd year. Um, we service, as you mentioned, over 150 burn injured children. It is a summer camp that runs for seven days and the kids are able to go horseback riding and they do a ropes course and all sorts of amazing activities that are meant to empower them uh, and make them feel uh, Oh, sorry, we're having some mic issues, but it's just a great program. Erica, how did you get involved with this organization? So I had a car accident when I was four years old. Um, and so I was treated at Shriners Hospital for Children in Sacramento. And that's where I was contacted by the Lisa Ann Rouge Burn Foundation. And I started Champ Camp when I was five years old. And so I loved it so much, I kept wow. coming back. And so I continued throughout the years. I missed a couple of times, a couple yeah. of years. Uh, but I eventually was able to come back as a counselor in training. And then um, when, once I was 21, I became a counselor and just about a month ago, I turned into staff. So oh my gosh, well, congratulations. Yes, That's so a much. full circle. It is a full circle. I mean, history. You did. And you, you yes. went there at five years old. Five years old, I started, yes. So, so how, 20 years ago. Oh, that's so magical. Yeah. How did it make you feel to just be around kids and just, just feel like a kid? Uh, I loved him. Yep, it's my Disney. Yeah. <laughs> it's my Disneyland. Um, it's, it's just very humbling it's very empowering it's it's just somewhere where I love to be I I didn't think I was going to make it this year and somehow or another um, this everything just kind of clicked and I, I happen to be here in a different role yeah but I still get to be around all the kids and as a staff member I get to be around all the age groups not just one right, right. and so it's been amazing and oh. I I, I will be with Champ Camp for life. So Good. That is so special. Yes. So, Ryan, I know the Fresno Fire Chiefs Foundation, this is one of your many causes. How does it feel to support such a great place like Champ Camp? You know, it's an amazing uh, blessing, I'll say. You know, we are, we're able as the foundation to support about eight different programs here in the community, and Champ Camp has a special place in my heart. I have a real affection for, for kids, and as do our board members in giving back, and it's just been able to be able to partner with, with Stephanie and, and, and Erica and, and be able to be a part of that and raise funds to be able to send kids to camp and give them that Disneyland experience. Oh, I know. <laughs> Very unique. But I do want to mention some of your other programs. I know they involve dogs and, and teaching, teaching kids fire safety. Can you talk about those briefly? We do. Uh, Burn Aware is our, our safety education program here for Fresno City. Uh, our firefighters go out to the schools for kids that are first through third graders and teach them uh, fire prevention and safety. Um, the You mentioned Tessa. Tessa is our, our fire prevention dog Aww. or fire dog as we say. She's a beautiful <laughs> black lab. There's a picture of Tessa. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> she does an amazing work and so we're able to help support Tessa with her needs throughout the year with training and food and grooming and those types of oh, things. Oh, so. wonderful. And Stephanie, tell us, so the camp it's going on right now, correct? It is. Oh, isn't Absolutely. that neat? Mm -hmm. And so tell us where it is every year and, and what the kids experience. Sure. It's at Wonder Valley Ranch, which is out in Sanger, so about 40, 45 minutes away. Mm -hmm. um, but the kids, as I mentioned, the kids are able to do a wide variety of activities they probably would not have the opportunity to do yeah. uh, normally. So we do um, that. Every, every day has four periods, so the kids get four different awesome activities. Uh, we do the standard summer camp stuff, so arts and crafts, lots of swimming and stuff. But okay. as I mentioned, they do ropes courses. Um, they do uh, horseback riding. We have go-karts, dirt bikes. Like It just kind of goes on and on. That's so perfect. And Erica, are you heading up there shortly as well? Yeah, so I, I've been there since last Thursday, kind of just getting everything ready for the kiddos to come over. And the kiddos arrive Saturday all the way up until Saturday. So yeah. I will be throughout 
the whole week. Mm -hmm. And what's your message for folks out there if they if they feel really touched by this and maybe they never even heard of Champ Camp? What do you want to say to them to help them get involved, volunteer, just mm -hmm. how much this means to the kiddos? I would like to say is just just go online, look at some of our amazing videos. They definitely it's one thing for us to tell you how amazing it is, but it's another for you to experience it. So a little bit of that is watching some of the videos we have on YouTube from past years that we've had or even going online, applying to be a counselor and seeing it for yourself. Yeah. It That Champ Camp really does hook you and then there are many other events yeah. throughout the year that you can continue to see your kiddos at. So I definitely just visit our website and look at some of our social media posts, pictures, videos. And yes. You will definitely it see what so we talk neat. about. <laughs> and Ryan, the fact that this is the the most famous and the busiest and the longest running in the country right here in our backyard, what, what does that <laughs> feel for the fire department? That must be very It's unique. fantastic to be able to support it. Uh, I think uh, uh, Stephanie mentioned it earlier. We have almost 30 kids from the Fresno area alone that are that are uh -huh. attending camp this week. And as Erica mentioned, you know, to be able to experience it firsthand, I had my first opportunity to attend camp last year. Uh, it was during our chili cook-off day, which is always a fun event. Um, <laughs> which is tomorrow. Which yes. Is tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! Well, that is so fun, everybody. If you are interested in supporting, maybe signing up your kid for next year, right? They're still. I know it's going on right now, but they can sign up for next year and and, and so mm -hmm. forth. Okay, perfect. Well, everybody, just head to the website. It's been going on. On, on your screen and of course for more Fresno Fire Chiefs Foundation info it's beafireherero.org thank you all for being here thank you so much thank for you us. have so much thank fun you. at camp yes. I wish I didn't have to work I could come up there and have fun with you guys oh, but thanks totally. again maybe Absolutely. next year right? maybe next year <laughs> thank you for having oh, us thank you don't go anywhere folks especially if you still haven't found dad that perfect